Welcome back, sports fans, to another episode of Ugly Thurs. Today's topic will be Arizona Coyotes Sports 3 jerseys. John and Shrems, take it away. Hockey in the desert. It's clearly going to be a success. Never going to work 30 years later. Have, you, have they turned a profit yet? Uh, not this season. I believe their, uh, uh, their collective bargaining has allowed them to share revenue this year and in a 3,000-seat arena. 5,000. Oh, is it up to five? Only they did fifty five hundred for the minimum league minimum. Look at that. Yeah. So uh, really, it's uh, lots of money coming in. Now you'd think everyone likes to 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 hate this a lot of these looks and a lot of what the Coyotes have worn, but uh, putting together a worst of it's not that terrible. No, you you've got this idea of hockey in the desert, and how is that even going to possibly be working? But you can see that they've embraced the desert. Uh, Theme. Yeah, no, and, it, and, it, and it's worked well. Um, but I guess let's start off with the third worst. Yeah, let's do it. Bill, when they wear these? They wore these between 2015 and 2020. So they tr- introduced black into the official color scheme back because it was it was just this uh, brick sand. I don't. They had a, they have a, a proper name for it. Yeah, it dark red. Dark red and tan look, and uh, then they, they well, then we got to have black somewhere in here. And I just, I just never thought any of it worked well. Uh, I think the paw print logo is a stretch. They keep trying to do a paw print logo, and okay, now they make sure they put Arizona A in for Arizona. <laughs> How many times am I going to screw that up this video? Um, look, I, I, I personally love this one. I think this is the better logo, and I, I'm going to take heat for that. But I just think it looks better all in all. Yeah, I, I think the black. Not to foreshadow, but when you get to number one, you'll see the difference between uh, these these two jerseys. But the black kind of gives it some character a little bit. Uh, I I don't dislike I don't dislike this jersey as much as I should. I I, I, I sure do. I think I think the the ones that it replaced, especially the original one, it's based on. It's a uh, it's a crying shame. <laughs> But not the worst. By no means the worst. Uh, and I hope number two is still what you wanted for number two. Paw prints are dumb. The running oh, coyote. Oh, not running third. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, uh, and, and first off, paw print, but uh, not on both shoulders. Go ahead, go grab, grab the other shoulder there. there. Yeah, no, no. We'll can't have logo. can't have both shoulders. So uh, it's a paw print, and um, not much more than a paw print. How many teams have different shoulder patches? Oh, Usually it's yeah. uniform, but it's yeah. not that easy. More thirds than anything else. Yeah. It feels more minorly because one becomes an ad and the other becomes, well, I guess I guess the NHL is on its way to run or run. Um, look, this is a weird jersey. What's I mean, underneath what's going on here, that's weird. No one's ever done a sleeve like this. And, and when, you, when you're wearing it, like, what? Why? I mean, there's it's so goofy. Um, and then you you want to talk about the logo? Not really. It's not great, but you've you've talked about in the past how to make this logo better, so and this, it's so simple, and it's this, right there. This this logo is very horizontal, and and hockey jerseys aren't as much as they probably. But you you need you need to square this off a bit. And I think putting a moon, putting a moon, taking this moon, like that one, uh, you know, or this moon, and putting the coyote across instead of the word mark, I think you have a great logo. Yeah. I think this is a near miss in a lot of different ways. You know, you flip this striping so it's not up but down like so many other ones. You put a moon behind this. You can even put some desert scape in the bottom silhouetted if you really want to give me like Get extra cool. Look a little bit. Right. Yeah. Uh, it, it's such a near miss in my opinion. I don't think it's anywhere near as bad as a lot of people say. But these things, these suckers are hard to find. They are one of the more forgettable ones. I, it, what comes to mind is like that that I, Islanders. Like yeah. They're there for a brief moment and then gone. And Forever. then you can't find them. My biggest beef with this one, when I got it back from the customizer, I was freaking out because they've placed the uh, the stitching for the nameplate directly onto the jersey. Like, I didn't realize that was a thing. I always no thought name there was a name bar. Yeah, no so name bar whatsoever. For people who have no idea what we're talking about, so I had to re-stitch this one. It came off. Um, I'm surprised the fanatics are there. I know. So, like, like, yeah, there's clearly a, a bar here. I mean, it just makes life easier. And it's not coming off. Good God. Uh, stupid fanatic. Um, you got it for free. I mean, well, that's because it was all coming apart. Yes, that's the one I ordered. It came apart. But, so, like, usually for equipment managers, you sew the names onto a bar, and then you put those bars onto a jersey. Yep. 
And so that's very easy to pull off one player, put on another. It makes life. I mean, can you imagine we, we even had through a sewing machine, this whole thing and getting it exactly right with no pulling or whatnot. Like, I, but that's, I had to go on Reddit to figure out that there are a very few number of teams that actually do this. And this is one of those jerseys. So no name plate, but a goofy detail, but a great one nonetheless. Yeah. And number one, uh, we're, we, we hate when teams phone it in and fail at something they shouldn't have failed. Uh, the, the look this is based on, well, first off, we, we, we cut off Phil. When did they wear the running coyote? Uh, the running coyote was from 2008 to 2014. Okay, and how about this one? Um, from 2007 to 2015. So when Re when Reebok took over, they dropped a lot of the hemline stripes because they, they originally was going to tuck everything into pants, and hockey players actually like revolted. Oh, yeah, I guess we do do that. Um, great, this is going well. <laughs> so, uh, you know, they, they removed the hemline stripes, and what was a perfect, really the first of the – classic look jerseys like you look back phoenix in 2004 was the first team to like embrace a vintage look with yeah. just this yep, yep. with it i mean other than like san jose in 91 but that i mean a lot happened between those two years uh and then reebok takes over and they drop the hemlines and this is just very blank this is boring as sin and and why i said what i did earlier comparing it to the black you have that black jersey just to make it at least give it some character. I'm not saying it's better. This this logo here for me is is just basic. It's bland. See, I I think with that with the bottom stripes, I think it's one of their better looks. I am a big fan of that overall. But what are you gonna do? I, nothing. Good. Good. <laughs> I'm not gonna do a thing. I, I mean, look, I'm, I'm all ears for what's worse on this one. I, I don't I don't know that there is stuff that's actually properly worse in in yeah. Phoenix's lineup. But, or see, I did it. Arizona's lineup. Oh, you did it. It's clearly not the reverse retro that Phil's wearing because that thing is marvelous. It's with the new reverse retro in orange, though. Mm. Mm. Orange or purple? Um, or the on, new third. Honestly, and no. if, if I can find a good one, I like the orange one a little bit more than the purple. Do you I think, really? I, I think the orange fits the, the area better. Than yeah, the I'm not a fan of it. Seeing as how we drove through the area. So if anyone it is just, all very just orange, looking like this, I'm wearing the reverse retro from the, the purple, purple, yeah, the first yeah. iteration. So. Yeah, well, uh, I guess that's going to wrap it up for us. Yeah. Um, he's Shrems. I'm John Phil. Take us out. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And then tune in for another episode of Ugly Thirds.